Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new, so welcome. Today I am going to be talking about how to prepare and practice for online flute lessons. Now, I know a lot of places are opening back up right now from the pandemic. Uh, a lot of things were closed. However, flute lessons are pro it's probably going to be a while before those occur in person again after all the physics of the flute. You blow across your respiratory droplets yes some go into the flute but some will go out and so the six feet bare minimum who knows if that'll be an option <clears throat> so it, everything's kind of up in the air with that right now but online flute lessons are a great way to still keep up with your playing and to keep learning and all of that so they do require a bit of not different practice methods. You can use the same ones that you would use for in-person, but there are a few things to consider when practicing and preparing for online flute lessons. All right, so the first thing, how to prepare is use the right setup. So make sure your devices are all charged, whether that's your laptop, phone, iPad, um, whatever it is, make sure it has as close to a full battery as possible, or I would say bare minimum 50 to 60 percent depends on the lesson length for sure um, in a 30 minute lesson that I do on my phone it can go from like 90 to 60 percent so yeah it um, can vary but just make sure your devices are charged or make sure they're charging while you're in the lesson um, then of course check your internet before the lesson starts, make sure you have a solid connection. Um, if you've never had online lessons before, of course that's gonna be tricky, but I personally use the data on my phone because unfortunately where I'm at right now, the Wi-Fi just is not great. Um, but do what works for you. If you use Wi-Fi, that's the best, well, that's better than cellular. The best is going to be hardwiring with an ethernet cable um but yeah and then you know make sure that you're in a well-lit area so that your teacher can see you make sure that you have good lighting on your screen so like the brightness is up so that you can see your teacher um but yeah just make sure everything's ready and then of course practice um online lessons um in that way are no different from in person you want to still practice and uh, prepare for them so how do you practice your online lessons again it's not super different to in person um, so make a practice routine you know try and practice at the same time of day for the same length of time when I was working full-time at a bank I would wake up early and I would practice for half an hour to an hour depending on when I needed to get into work then I would practice a little bit after work, but I was usually tired after being at a bank for like nine, 10 hours sometimes. Um, and now that I work from home mostly, I will practice in the mid to late morning for about an hour. Uh, then I'll do another practice session or two in the afternoon. It just depends on my schedule again, but find what works for you. The more you can get into a routine, the easier it will be to stay on track with your practicing and the more you can feel prepared for your next lesson. Um, then know what to focus on. So obviously if you're a beginner, this will be different than if you're in college or otherwise advanced, uh, but a good thing to prepare is just any assignments from your last lesson, anything that your teacher touched on, um, you know, any feedback that you received on the materials. If you're working on solos where it's something that you're working on for multiple lessons, definitely take feedback into consideration. If you are preparing for your first lesson, uh, again, this will depend on your level. If you've never played flute before, you can maybe start to look at a page or two out of a flute method book, either one that you buy or one that your teacher recommends. Um, if it's your first lesson with a new teacher, just kind of practice what you've been working on if you are a little more intermediate or advanced. 
Um, then during the week, come up with questions. So this is a good tip for online or even in person once those lessons start. But you know, the more questions you have, the better your teacher can help you during your lesson time, the more productive it can be because your teacher will know what to look for, what to watch for when you're playing. Um, and then questions are especially good to ask over video chat because your teacher can't necessarily adjust your hand position. They can't feel your airstream. Um, so, you know, asking, okay, does this look right for my hands? Do, does it sound good? Uh, does it sound like I'm supporting enough? Those kinds of things. Or just, am I getting these notes right? Something as simple as that. Um, then just play for fun. Uh, again, this is online, in person, whatever. Uh, take some time to play something that you really like. So whether that's a Disney song, a pop song, uh, if you like pop and rock and like that kind of music, there's a excellent website, flutersmusic.blogspot.com that releases um, the notes. Doesn't have the sheet music or the rhythms, but it has the note names for a lot of recent uh, pop songs so you can look on there search for your favorite artist and you can play along and odds are if you know the song you won't need the rhythm so you'll just be able to play it as is um, but yeah so there are also you know Disney songbooks and things like that that you can buy to play something that you really like um, all right now it's practicing for online lessons that different as I've said, no, it's really not the practicing part. It's more the preparing and the act of the lesson that is going to be different. It requires more focus, more attention, um, but it's completely possible. And if you are interested in online lessons this summer or just ongoing, I do offer them. Uh, link to my lesson studio will be down below. But yeah, I teach flute, piccolo, alto flute, music theory. Um, so if you are interested in taking online lessons, go ahead and sign up at that link. And let me know if there are any other videos you'd like to see, any sort of stuff like that. And I will talk to you guys later.